So I got this fake Chinese Apple charger from a colleague who said that it failed, which of course does not surprise me. First of all, I do not particularly understand the choice for a Chinese charger when you can afford an overpriced piece of hardware like a MacBook. So why do you trust this piece of crap to your expensive MacBook? I don't understand that. So when I plug this in, I hear a small or sometimes an even big spark, but that's it. So my guess is that this, this is still working somehow. I cannot test it uh, because I do not own a single Apple product and I want to keep it that way. And even if I did own a MacBook, I would not want to charge it with this device. So the plug over here has five pins. Uh, my guess is that two of them are for the positive and two of them are for the negative. And probably the, the middle one, uh, the last one is for the LED which is inside this plug. So let's see what's inside. And I'm probably going to break it uh, while trying to open it. But that shouldn't be a problem because it is not working anymore. Oh, this feels very cheap. Which is not really Apple-like because although I don't like the Apple brand, they make good quality stuff. And this would probably be very dangerous to put my fingers over here because it can still contain a charge and because it is Chinese and not Apple, it can do all kinds of weird stuff. I don't know what this is. Uh, it's probably Earth and since it is connected, that's that's nice. Yeah, that's, that's nice indeed. But let's see, let's cut this off. What? Is this only two wires? Right, two wires. That that surprises me. That would mean there is some some that would mean there are some electronics inside this plug. Metallic protection, that is good. A huge capacitor, let's short that out before. There's, is this rubber or is this a component? Is rubber? Oh, that should be discharged right now. Uh, yeah, it's a very simple device. Um, Transformer, regulator, capacitors, probably capacitor, not a regulator, a diode, and that's it. That's, oh, there's some more resistors, rectifiers, rectifier, controller, I see probably, no. So, <coughs> my colleague told me that this cable uh, was actually a little bit loose and yeah, that you can see why it is loose because this has no function anymore. It just should be tied around the cable. Um, so maybe these wires broke inside. So let's see if I can get my meter. Test for continuity. Well, that also means that my guess is correct. That two of them are used for power. Uh, four of them actually in, in total. Correct two. And and that also means that this cable is working. And 
that also means <laughs> that this, this is probably still working and maybe just the electronics inside this plug failed or the connection uh, of this plug uh, is just not good enough anymore. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hook this up uh, to live, uh, which is probably not a good idea, but I'll do it anyway. See if 14.8 volts uh, come out, comes out of here and see if it still works. So I've soldered this wire uh, which connects uh, to this plug uh, onto the solder board, uh, circuit board. Um, and I'm going to plug it in, uh, which still does not look like a terrible good idea with the live uh, on my desk like this. Um, also, uh, I inspected the board a little bit and it, it has modest separation uh, between uh, the, 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 the 14 volts about there uh, and the live, um, but it's not great um, I still guess this is earth uh, which has a tiny amount of separation over there uh, so if you plug this in and your uh, uh, the, the whole uh, group of uh, power uh, just went uh, went out this will probably be the cause of that so now it's uh, I'm not terribly happy uh, about the look of this circuit board. Uh, I'm 100% I'm sure that Apple would not have uh, shipped this kind of device. Um, yeah, so let's plug it in and see if it goes bang. Actually, a little bit too close. I'm not happy about sticking this right in, in here right now. Oh. <coughs> It works. <laughs> At least it didn't go bang. And let's put the meter onto 20 volts. A little cautious right now. And uh, yeah, let's see if it has any output. It is doing something. Um, <laughs> let's see if it's just, just a wrong connection or... Yeah, so that is not working anymore. Right, uh, let's see if I can find the culprit. First, let's disconnect this. And discharge the huge capacitor uh, where is it and it's over there so yeah that is discharged all right that is discharged um it's a little blackened over here and it is also looks terrible absolutely a worthless piece of crap this is so this is absolutely not an apple product they would not ship it like this what why oh that's just a little longer leave and it's all cooped in here because i was tracing uh the the the, the path of the life and the neutral and the life goes over here into um, no 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 I should not lie over here into this capacitor which goes then uh, into this capacitor uh, through the neutral and and they're terribly close uh, here and here and let's see Goes to the regular and uh, probably a regulator under here, and that's just a little bit too complicated to draw it like uh, draw a schema of it. And 
there are some white lines between there to in, in some terrible attempt to s make some separation I guess and yeah do not buy this and if you do buy it uh, do not use it <laughs> and certainly do not leave it plugged in the wall when you're not home this is terrible <coughs> let's see um yeah let's see if i can measure the capacitor um, i will have to solder some clips on here which i will do and be right back so i've got soldered on some clips on my uh, component tester and i really want uh, these rubbers to get back on these crocodile clips but these are chinese of course and this this uh joint over here uh, sticks out way too much and so it is almost no no it's not almost it is impossible for this rubber to shove back on um, yeah I've tried it the other way around uh, same story it, it <laughs> I should probably throw these away and get some good ones because this is awful um, so I'm going to test without the rubbers on them and yeah that's that's not I don't really like that, but it will have to do. Uh, so let's see if I can test uh, this capacitor, and it will probably find some other circuitry. Um, it says 125 microfarads, 8.5% uh, false loss. That is a little high. And can I find the capacitance? Of course not, because there's all kinds of coo sitting on it. Uh, and whoever, no, what idiot thought this would be a good idea? Well, it's broken anyway, so. Microfarads and it said 125. Um, normally, <laughs> the capacity decreases and does not increase over time. So it's probably measuring some other uh, circuitry. So let's see if I can get it out of the way, get it out of the circuit board, and measure it again. I did a video on how to desolder multi pin components. So these are just two pin components, which I just pull out like this. Uh, yeah, measure it again. And Not touching each other now, are we? Because we don't have any rubbers on it. Ninety-two. Yeah. So it was measuring other uh, uh, other components. Uh, it, this is still good. Uh, so this is not the culprit. Um, this is unlikely to fail. Also, and just one capacitor over here, and see if I can spot some damage. And already tested this diode. It's good too. And Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to investigate any further because that is just a waste of time on this Chinese piece of junk. Um, well, at least I've got a compaster full of goo. Uh, yeah, so what's more to say about this piece of junk? Uh, nothing. Yeah, like I said, uh, do not buy it. Uh, do not leave it unattended. Do not uh, uh, use it at your house. Uh, make sure you've got good insurance when using this, because you're saving uh, probably 10 euros or 10 bucks when buying this. Uh, yeah, so you can afford a good insurance uh, because you are going to use this. Uh, what if your house burns down uh, because of using this? Well, at least you saved 10 euros buying this piece of crap. Um, so it probably was worth the money all the time. Um, yeah. 
don't ever buy this and just if you own it already throw it away and buy some decent power supply unit for your expensive overpriced macbook so um, i could not resist opening this uh, plug um, uh, it was actually a little hard to open uh, and I was right there is all kinds of uh, circuitry in here um, yeah which uh, probably just uh, checks to see if there is load uh, uh, on the on the pins and then lights the LED uh, when there is actually some actually some load um, so yeah there is all kind of magic stuff uh, is unrecognizable <laughs> unrecognizable at this point uh, because uh, yeah like I said it was a hard little hard to open uh, so I damaged a little bit too much uh, yeah but interesting plug uh, this plug probably uh, was copied um, one uh, yeah it was copied copied literally uh, from Apple uh, so it is a decent plug it was uh, tough uh, yeah, unlike this other Chinese piece of junk. So, interesting stuff. So, <coughs> one last update. Uh, I just couldn't give it the rest uh, because I did not find uh, the error, the culprit. And I actually, uh, yeah, desoldered most of the components, uh, even the transformer uh, on here, uh, which I tried to dismantle, uh, but not have finished it yet um, I managed to find the culprit and it is this uh, capacitor I believe it is a capacitor uh, <laughs> I'm not 100% sure uh, let's see if my camera can it on focus and see some values on here so it's a little hard to read come on it's a little bit too close probably there we go no Probably should turn it a little. Oh, a little bit in the shade. Yeah, so 3.15 amps and 392. Would that mean 3900 picofarad? Uh, no, no, yeah, uh, 3900 picofarad. I don't know. Um, or nanofarad. Uh, but <laughs> it went open circuit. Uh, it's I measured it with my device and it said, hey, it's a resistor uh, with, with a rating of 0 0.0 um, ohms. And I thought, one. Uh, but when I put my meter on continuity and it just uh, beeps, of course. Uh, yeah, so this, I think, uh, yeah, when, when, when it broke, uh, broke down and... Um, made the whole uh, device not working anymore and let's see if I can actually measure some resistance as well my component tester said it uh, was 0 0.0 ohms um, yeah and my normal meter agrees uh, 0 0.23 ohms and let's give it one final try So I checked to see if uh, if these clamps uh, just uh, touched each other um, because it said 0 0.0 ohms and they did not. So I tested again and here it is. This is the result. A 0 0.0 ohms resistor. It could at least be a wire then, right? Um, yeah, so it, uh, unfortunately this device is beyond repair right now so I'm not be able to put it back together uh, and make make it working again make it work again um, yeah so at least I found the culprit and yeah <laughs> that's it 